but Jesse Rogers of ESPN is on with us right now, MLB Free Agency. Hey, Jesse, what's cooking? Everything's good. Good to talk to you guys again. What's happening there? Yeah, man, uh, we're uh, we're excited, except for we're not sure if we're supposed to be excited. <laughs> it feels like the Giants keep telling everybody we're about to open up a huge bag and the impatience is at an all-time high. So how do you see this going over the next month or two? Yeah, I mean, you don't hear many executives come out the way uh, your guy did and declare um, basically there's no price too high, right? I mean, maybe I'm paraphrasing, but not too far from that. When they do that, they usually back it up because they're they're really going to dig themselves a hole if, 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 if they say that and they don't follow up. So I think it it is good news to be public about it. Um, there could be some drawbacks. Maybe you lose a little leverage here and there, but there also could be some some positives to it because now you've you've, you've got a rotating uh, you know door for in terms of one of those circular doors of agents coming in and out, right? You know what I'm talking about. So um, I think I think the Giants have been sort of no pun intended a sleeping giant for a few years. I think you guys would agree. There's been money to spend. Um, they usually have good attendance there. I think they want to make sure they have a couple stars in the lineup. I'm based in Chicago, and I see the same thing with the Cubs. Like, if you're not going to win, you better have a few stars in the lineup. And I think both teams could use that kind of thing, talking about the Cubs and Giants, just for an example. Um, Teams that usually have good crowds, um, they expect stars. And then they expect to win, and maybe both, if you can get both. So I I do think the Giants are going to follow up the the, 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 uh, sort of things they've said with opening up the purse strings, um, I'd be a lot of reasons that you guys can guess. It's just he's Mr. Yankee right now. Um, the egg on the face of ownership and Brian Cashman would would probably be just too too stinky for for them to let this happen. Um, he certainly made a lot of money this season, and I, I think he's going to return. That's kind of the consensus. But look, once Freddie Freeman left Atlanta, I guess anything is possible because he was Mr. Brave, right? Um, we see it all the time. It's not. It, it, it can't be completely shocking if he leaves, but I still use the word surprising. So um, I, I certainly put the Giants in the team photo if he does leave. In terms of um, teams that will line up and be ready for him, I think that's obvious. But I don't. I don't think he's leaving. I think they're going to get it done. Yeah, Jesse, uh, Jesse. It's it's interesting because I think even even we out here can acknowledge. It's sort of like why why would you do that? Why why like you're Aaron Judge and it's the Yankees. Why would you do that? But the the one question I still have is, let's go back to the beginning of the season and the Yankees publicly stating, here's what we offered him, and he wouldn't take it. It, it, it. And that clearly upset him. Do you feel like there are still hurt feelings there? Probably not, because it's just the way things go. I mean, Juan Soto's offer was leaked. Um, I think the team sometimes feels like they have to, to do that, to leak it, so... So they saved some face. I mean, look, we offered this guy $300 million, right? and he turned it down in Juan Soto's case, um, and, and we traded him. I, I don't think so because it's just the way things work. Um, I, 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 look, people said that he was upset that he got booed there. Yeah, you in, a, in the moment, you can be upset you got booed. In the moment, you can be upset an offer leaked. But at the end of the day, you're going back to your mansion. At the end of the day, you just hit 60-plus home runs. At the end of the day, you're adored. You're going to make 300 plus million. I mean, really, is, are we going to be that petty? I'm not saying it never happens, but I, I, the, from everything I know about Aaron Judge, I don't think anything like what uh, what happened in the spring with an offer here or a booing there is going to is going to dictate where he goes. He's, he's going to go where he's happy, and I think that's going to be back in New York where he is still beloved, despite a momentary you know, lapsed by the fans booing him during the playoffs. So if Judge does stay in New York and the Giants are forced to pivot to the next free agent, what other name is out there that you think they could be in the mix for that would move the needle out here to where they need to to get fans re-engaged in the product? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to move the needle anything, you know, near Aaron Judge, but I, I, Brandon Nemo would be a good fit. The thing about the Giants reminds me of a few clubs sort of trying to, get back up they have a lot of needs like you could you could you could fill a lot of spots there with free agents um brandon nemo i think would be a good one you want a veteran michael brantley i think even though he finished the season hurt is a is a good leader still has some game left i mean obviously if you wanted any of those short stops they're there for the taking if you offer them the right amount um first base is kind of open a little bit right or could be or dh um jose Abreu, i know is 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 um liked by a lot of teams He's more than likely going to leave the White Sox here. 
couple year deal, nothing serious. The Padres like Abreu. I think the Astros like Abreu. The Rays have looked at Abreu. Um, that's a player that you could fill a few holes, whether it be first base or DA. So I, I think there's obviously talent. I just mentioned a few guys, good talent, nothing close to Aaron Judge, though. But instead of spending three hundred million on one guy, maybe you spend it on three guys, and you can you can get a lot done that way. Jesse Rogers, ESPN, on MLB free agency with us, Willard and Dibs, ninety five seven. The game. What's the uh, what's the buzz with Carlos Rodon? How, how do you think that one plays out? The buzz at the GM meetings was that he was going to leave and he was going to end up in Texas. Uh, now, usually when something happens that obvious so early in the offseason, it doesn't happen at the end of the day. But that was the early word. He lives down in the Dallas area, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, a lot of people think that the Rangers, including myself, are really going to go hard after pitching and might surprise people not just signing one, but maybe even two big names on the mound. You don't hire Bruce Bochy just to sort of you know, finish in third place. That's a tough division now. Um, but the 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 the, uh, the scuttlebutt was he'd end up in in Texas, and it only makes sense for I mean, it makes sense for a couple reasons. And the only reason it doesn't make sense is because it's it's sort of been the obvious play going back a couple weeks, and usually the obvious doesn't happen during the hot stove season. But uh, I do think he's probably going to leave the Giants. The hot stove. It's a funny thing that you you call it that because it feels like it takes a long time for the stove yeah. to actually heat up where are we in terms of the stove and how hot how soon will it get hot are we all waiting for Aaron Judge to be the first one to drop or will that come more toward the end of the quote-unquote hot stove no I don't think that's going to come towards the end I I could actually see that happening maybe in the middle that could be a winter meetings thing where they hammer it out or maybe even before that here's the thing um the signings you've seen unless I'm mistaken any of the bigger ones have been all back to their old team, right? The most recent one was Rizzo yesterday, Montero the other day with the Houston Astros. There's been a few others as well. Um, It is very early in the offseason. I know people don't want to hear that. They want to be like the NBA or the NHL or the NFL. It it opens and everybody signs. It just isn't like that. Um, The GM meetings came a week early. They really did. So teams were just feeling things out with other teams and agents. We saw a trade today. I think you'll probably see more trades than free agents early on here. And maybe by the time we get to the winter meetings, there'll be a steady flow. But I would imagine the bigger names, the Boris clients, it's going to be like the old days pre-pandemic. It's going to be slow. Maybe a guy in December, a couple in January, one in February. Um, I think that's. I, I think we're going back to that. Whatever that normal sort of slow off season was, I think we'll go back to that. There's no reason to believe anything's going to happen here huge before Thanksgiving. And certainly, you know, probably not to the winter meetings is my guess. Uh, Jesse, if you would, uh, let's project something uh, for a moment. I wonder what you'd say. Let's go to this time next year and tell me what the conversation is around Shohei Otani. Probably going to be a free agent um, or, or I, you know, I guess I should say, you know, potentially traded in July and then become a free agent. Um, I don't, see the angels getting it done i just i just don't now i don't know the guy that well if all he wants to be is where he is now that's a different story but if he wants to win if he's done his deal in anaheim and it just hasn't worked out i think he'll probably go to free agency even if he's traded in july um and it'll be the most fascinating free agency we'll we'll ever experience right um do you pay him 30 million as a hitter and 30 million as a pitcher. Is it something like that? Is it something crazy like that? Maybe so. Uh, I, I, unless the Angels turn it around here, I don't know. There's so much uncertainty there. They brought back their manager who's, you know, I don't think they're for the long term, Nevin, and they're, they're going to be sold. So my guess is he's either traded in July, but either way, he becomes a free agent. I don't think he'll be traded before the season starts here. I just my guess. I don't, uh, I think they'll give it one more shot. They brought Tyler Anderson in. They're trying to win. But if things go south, I think then he gets traded. They get as much as they can for him, and he's a free agent, and it's a really fascinating offseason next year. Uh, great stuff, Jesse. Thank you so much. Hey, real quick, uh, Trey Turner, Dodgers or no? No, I'm guessing the Phillies. And that okay. was, again, a little bit of a scuttlebutt in, in, at the general manager's meetings. I'm guessing the Phillies. If not, maybe Boston if Bogarts leaves. There'll be some musical chairs out east. I'm going to guess the Phillies. Okay. All right. Hey, Jesse, thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Jesse. You got it, guys. Be All right. right. There he goes. Jesse Rogers, ESPN.